Hey, what's up, my little title tells? How y'all doing today? Well, listen, if you are Sherry Shepherd, you will not let this be one-sided beef with Wendy Williams go. Now, listen, a lot of you guys, when I made my last video saying Sherry, um, shaded Wendy, was like, why don't you stop? You're just making stuff out of nowhere. She's not doing that. Well, guess what? Sherry gave another interview exclusively to page six and let everybody know that purple was out of the question for her new show set set she's also bragging on the fact that she got oprah and all these other people helping her which we'll get into that because i was like how are they helping you when basically you texted to oprah three times and oprah gave you some advice but the advice oprah gave was i don't know i don't know it's looking kind of strange it's looking kind of funny I don't think that was the endorsement she thought it was. Y'all, let's get into this because I've said it once and I said it again. Listen, can we pick a role with Wendy Williams? Is she literally in a cognitive decline or not? If she is not, listen, all things are fair. Wendy was not an angel. I know this, but she did build a legacy. And without Wendy, there would be no Sherry to sit there and put Wendy down. Let's acknowledge that first of all. Now listen, you cannot like somebody personally you, they can make you sick, but you still should give credit where credit is due. Because without Wendy, there would be no you, Sherry. But also, even if you want to say, take that apart, you guys, I don't think a lot of people realize what an actual cognitive decline is. And more importantly, SCD, subjective cognitive decline. Please Google this. It represents subjective complaints about cognitive decline in the absence of objective impairment all right now listen that is the metric that you use it's scd is the first symptomatic stage of alzheimer's disease spectrum disorders or and or dementia okay but let's just get that out the way and, let's, uh, and I honestly want to say, I, uh, thank God a lot of people don't have any dealings with people that have a cognitive impairment because honestly, they are, they are not the same person. It can make you mad. It can make you sad. It can make you happy. But the person that you knew that gave you happiness, that caused you pain, that humiliated you, that built you up, whatever that person did to you to make them have a lasting role in your memory, in your mind, they are no longer that person. It's literally like going and beating up a corpse. What do you get out of it? What do you get out of it? And also with Sherry going on her way to be like, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. I'm not going to be mean. Do you think that's why Wendy had all those fans? Because she was going for the juggler? Or do you think it was her unique mix of je ne sais quoi that got all the girlies riled up, that got people talking, that led to 12 years on end? Listen, this is nothing against Sherry. Is she my cup of tea? No. And again, I'm just talking about her style. Is she my cup of tea? No, it always looks a bit unnatural to me. But that said, Nick Cannon wasn't my cup of tea either. And he had his talk show until he didn't. A lot of people aren't my cup of tea. Other people like them, but it takes more than a few snazzy jokes, a few um, ideas from Oprah, a few everything to literally have the staying power and the cultural impact that Wendy Williams did. Lover or hater, Sherry, why is it so hard for you to put some respect on Wendy's name? And you want to sit there and be like, I'm not going to be mean playing Princess Pollyanna when everything you're saying is actually cr cruel if what we're saying about Wendy is true. But anyway, let's get into this little housekeeping really quick. You guys, hit that subscribe, like, notification. If you haven't noticed, I've hit 100K, but baby, you know I'm never satisfied. And I'm trying to reach a million, y'all. Help me on that journey. Like, share, subscribe. Anything that engages with the algorithm helps. Also, don't forget, we're doing the celebration for the 100K this Tuesday coming up. It is going to be a great time. And I'm going to be doing a giveaway. And it's just going to be lit. Second of all, Real Housewives of Atlanta, we're going live today with the recap. Y'all thought I forgot? I didn't. Listen, I'm finally in one place where I have uh, some type of cell service. Let's do this. And then also, what else is there? I don't know. A lot of good things coming up. Oh, yeah. If you guys do like my coverage of Wendy, don't forget I have a Wendy playlist. Just hide it on the playlist and you can listen to all this in detail. Okay, let's get this, right? 
Sherry being shady. First, no, actually, let's talk about the way there's all these things about how Wendy's heartbroken Ofer Wimpy is helping her arch enemy Sherry Shepard. Now, I don't mean to be funny. I really honestly don't. But Wendy has so much going on in her life. You really think she's thinking about Sherry Shepard? Wendy is probably sitting there trying to figure out where she got there and who's this person talking to her. I'm not even trying to be funny. There's bigger issues on the table. And the fact that they're doing this puff piece to make it seem like Wendy can't stand Sherry because Sherry's trying to push herself and distance herself from Wendy. Meanwhile, you're in the slot for Wendy's audience, girl, I guess, right? Let's see how she said Oprah. Um, uh, uh, what did it say? They say, it feels like the whole world is against Wendy. Wendy had the big reality stars to appear on her show. And here's Sherry getting calls out of the blue from Oprah. If Oprah turns up on Sherry's show as a guest in Wendy's old studio, Wendy will explode. First of all, stop your propaganda. We get it. You want Oprah to be on as a guest. Second of all, well, <laughs> How does that even make any sense? Third of all, Sherry, you've already told us in numerous interviews that you reached out to Oprah a million times, right? Um, they literally said that uh, she, they just can't, they can't take it. Oprah reached out to Sherry. She said, I took 15 pages of note until my fingers crapped up. Sherry said, added, added that she texted Oprah two or three times before receiving the call. So Sherry literally kept texting Oprah over and over again until Oprah picked up the phone and was like, girl, what? She said, one thing I took from Oprah is this. Oprah said, Sherry, the show is not about ratings. It's about the energy. You put out the energy and it will come back in direct proportion to you from the audience. It's your responsibility. You're in charge of the energy that is on your show. Oh, and the thing is, you're sitting there trying to rub this in Wendy's face because, Sherry, Oprah literally just told you those ratings aren't going to hold. It's the energy you put out. And if you put the energy out and the audience vibes with it, you'll get that energy back tenfold. To me, that wasn't help. That was telling Sherry, you better step up your game. You put out the energy and it will come back in direct proportion to you from the audience saying that Sherry needs to be more authentic. She needs to amp it up. She needs to do the damn thing. She said, it's your responsibility. You're in charge of the energy that's on your show. And to me, this actually sounds like Sherry was like, I just don't want people to think I'm going to be mean like Wendy. And Oprah was like, girl, ain't nobody comparing you to Wendy. Just put your energy out and whatever you get out is up to you. Don't got nothing to do with Wendy. But let's also look at how she's trying to distance herself from Wendy, right? Um, she said, Sherry Shepard says her favorite couple, her favorite color was out of the question for the set of her new daytime talk show, Sherry. Really, Sherry? Now you're trying to convince us. <laughs> anyway, how's purple your favorite color? We, we hardly ever see you wore purple when you were on The View. You never have purple on in your photo shoots. Go to her Instagram. Do you see a lot of purple? Girl, shut up. Now purple's your favorite color. She said, the views alums go to hue is purple, which unfortunately was the motive of her predecessor, Wendy Williams. She said, purple was out of the question. I love everything. It was a collaboration. She said, there will not be a bit of purple color to be found, but she still managed to capture her vibe. Again, you go to Sherry's Instagram. Where's all this purple she speaks of? Where? 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 Unless you're literally, once again, trying to get some clout off of Wendy's name. And hey, listen, to each their own, girl. You have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And if Sherry can make this work, she will take her place among the greats. But let's not act like they, she didn't get a big stool from Debmar Mercury from Wendy's slot. Wendy's PR, Wendy's Instagram, all her fans that were following the Wendy Williams show, they gave her YouTube, they gave all those followers and everything to Sherry. So maybe you actually might shine, but please don't act like Wendy didn't build the stool that you're standing up for to standing up on to take your place among the greats if you can pull this off. Let's get back to the purple. They did it and it's mean, it's calm and peaceful and joyful and it's vibrant. Everything that is me, they captured it on set. Sherry will not only differ from the Wendy Williams show in terms of color, but also it seems in terms of attitude. While Wendy was famous for a hot topic segment during which she frequently gossiped candidly about celebrities in a cruel yet honest manner, Shepard said her show will be the opposite. 
I'm not trying to be mean to anybody because my outlook on life is definitely through the lens of love. That's unique to me. Girl, your child that you paid to get brought into this earth then literally disowned, didn't even meet once I have a word, miss, full of light and joy. And for those of y'all that sit there and bring up stuff that Wendy said about somebody, yeah, Wendy did a lot of dirt. But you know what they say, right? And when you get into heaven, every man will be accountable for his own sins. Wendy did a lot of mess and Wendy's going to have to be accountable for everything. But I'm talking about Sherry. Because you, you, when you get to the gates of heaven, you can't look and be like, but Wendy, but Wendy, but Wendy. Because Gabriel, Peter, whoever's at the gates is going to be like, yeah, babe, but we're talking about you and we're talking about the child you paid to bring into the world. And we're talking about the, all the other mess and the way you low down divorced your husband after that because you just said you wanted to focus on your career. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, right? Uh, listen, honestly, I hope Sherry's show is a success because baby, you talked a lot of mess. Let's hope you can back it up. Let's hope you can back it up. Anyway, at the end of the day, I am rooting for Sherry to win. I just wish she could be more kind and understanding to someone that is literally going through a severe cognitive decline. But hey, like y'all said, Wendy ain't want to be kind and understanding to anybody. And now she's getting her karma. Ain't that what you're saying in your comments? Well, I'm just saying this. Sherry's not being kind and understanding either. Let's hope this karma that y'all keep wishing on Wendy don't come back to her. Every man's accountable for their own sins. Anyway, my little tattletales, let me know what you think in the comments. And I will talk to you later. Bye.